gentlemen, and alarmists of all ages, this is the first in a series of How To with M2. Whether you're a homeowner, a tenant, wealthy, or not so wealthy, you are going to want to pay particular attention to this video as you may find yourself in a common real-life situation where this can save your life or even more importantly the lives of the ones you love out of all the things we've been taught to fear boogeymen vampires zombies and even creepy clowns there is one threat that is actually more dangerous and is quite common and that real life threat is the home invasion or even simple burglary that has gone horribly wrong now although most of us have contemplated these serious problems there is unfortunately no perfect way to defend yourself Amongst those experts who take these threats most seriously, the number one defense is to arm themselves. As I'm sure you're aware, mishaps with firearms can be extremely dangerous and guns are very messy business, which we will not get into now. Instead, we would like to introduce to you a highly effective simple system that is completely non-dangerous and at less than 50 US dollars we hope very much that you correctly implement it in the near future this is not a marketing or sales video in any way however if you need assistance we are here to help step number one log on to your Amazon account. Go into the Amazon Kindle section and search for Chuck Norris's collection Physics, Time, and Space. And once you find the collection in Amazon Kindle, look for Volume 1. I will kick your thieving ass right into yesterday. Now available for free download with Amazon Prime. But in all seriousness, please search for a wireless remote with on and off switch for an AC power outlet. In the United States, that would be a 120 volt AC power outlet with wireless remote off and on. I recently purchased one for right around $13. Next, shop for a very loud siren. The best and loudest you feel you can afford on your budget. You'll see one pictured here for right under $200 which is 145 decibel. The one that is very affordable is just below it at 120 decibel and is under $12. Here we see a Yelper siren, similar to those used in automotive alarm applications. For various reasons, this type of siren or sounder is not recommended. The decibel is used to measure sound level and it's also used in electronics for signals and communication. A dB is a logarithmic way of describing a ratio. Please note the extremely steep slope on the decibel curve. Roughly, here are the three sounders that we have just looked at. You can see how the more expensive siren is much, very much louder than the other two. 
to make a simple to understand comparison, the human ear will start to hear sounds at about 10 decibels. Normal speaking is about 20 decibels. A toilet flushing is I said just under 80 decibel. A siren on an ambulance is just under 120 decibel. And thunder from a lightning strike is about 120 decibel. The human mind is conditioned very deeply to respond to loud sound. The expensive siren is about as loud as an explosion, and if you were close enough, it could potentially puncture your eardrum. I'm sure you're able to see now where we are going with this. You will affix the siren to the front of your dwelling, preferably facing forward towards the street. You will have the siren plugged into the AC outlet, and you would keep the on and off remote with you, especially in your bedroom at night. There are plenty of great deals on home security systems. Why not just go with the guy knocking on your door every other week and have one of those installed for no money down and maybe 20 or $30 a month. Now, although these are effective methods of protecting your home while you're away, they are very ineffective to prevent or defend against a home invasion. And let me tell you why. First, assuming that your phone line or internet line was not cut, the signal needs to travel to the central station. In this case, our operator has a bit of a drinking problem and has fallen asleep on the job. However, she does manage to pull it together and contact your local police station. The dispatcher at your local police station quickly responded by contacting the officer that has your home on his patrol route. However, he happens to be having a break at Dunkin' Donuts and when he finally gets into his car and on his way is involved in an accident. Due to many false alarms, a response to a home alarm system or home alarm panic alarm is not considered a priority. However, in this case, another officer takes up the call to respond to your alarm. Unfortunately, they travel to the wrong house. It seems the house with the alarm is at 93 Elk Drive. However, when the technician was programming the alarm system, he made the common dyslexic mistake of listing it as 39 and not elk but elm. The police patrol officer now needs to contact dispatch and dispatch in turn contacts the central station of the alarm company to see if they can make a correction. The central station is unable to make the correction because the technician logged in the incorrect address to start with. It will take days, perhaps even weeks, to sort this mess out. Meanwhile, your house has been burglarized or invaded, and now the dog is pregnant and the garbage has been stolen. 
Yeah, I know. Those alarms are unreliable. That's why I always carry my cell phone. My trusty smartphone and I've got apps and things that take care of all of that. I don't need anything else. Well, unfortunately, cell phone jammers are now quite common and you can buy one for a hundred and ten dollars and fifty eight cents. And if this seems extreme and unlikely, it isn't. With a bill of material cost under $50, I just built one in less than two hours. Your outside phone line, your outside data cable, and now your cell phone have all been disabled. Perhaps even the power has been cut. A standard battery backup for a desktop computer would do the job nicely to protect you in case of a power outage. You may also consider a hardwired AC switch and also an outside strobe light. You may also want to consider disguising or hiding your remote in a box of candy or something else so that a home intruder would not know where to find it and disable or turn off the siren. I could not imagine a home intruder rifling through your feminine hygiene products looking for a remote that they don't even know exists. All the intruder is going to know is that there is a horribly loud siren going off in front of your home and that it's time to get out of there. Well, meticulous crime records are kept and what is the statistic on response time for homes with a home security system? It is clearly not good. National average 67.6 minutes for a response and 42% of the time there is no response at all. Cell phones and cellular backup on alarm systems can be even more ineffective. On preliminary test, my cell phone jammer not only stopped my cell phone in my house, but stopped it from working all the way at the end of my street. Just don't tell my neighbors what I've been up to. The easy siren system works immediately. It is highly effective and low cost. Statistically, the majority of burglaries that are stopped are stopped by either nosy neighbors or diligent neighbors calling the police. And the number one very best way to avoid trouble is deterrence. So by all means, get a hold of some authentic alarm stickers and prominently place them on all your lower windows. One security decal that I designed and I believe is effective is this. Warning, think twice because we will not. And I believe that any burglar that looks at this decal will think twice. And although I am not an advocate for gun ownership, this decal does also serve as a fair legal warning. Please take these ideas and find the parts and put together your simple siren system. If you feel you would want help in acquiring the components and technical assistance plus some really great decals, 
you are more than welcome to contact us. The cost is only $50 and we will pay shipping and tax. We will also include the necessary AC power line plus a breaker. You will also receive full technical support, which you may also get even if you don't purchase. We are very easy to reach. Find us on our main webpage at m2usa.info. Thank you so much for watching and please be safe. Please look at that button down below and press subscribe and your comments are always more than welcome. Thank you again. Thank you.